Welcome back, I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make this super simple milk bath look epoxy coaster with real dried flowers. Now, I really love this size, this particular size coaster because this can fit pretty much any type of mugs you might have on hand. So I have a ceramic mug, fits perfect on there, or you can use your fancy Stanley mugs, fits perfect right on there. Or of course, you can always make up a matching tumbler to go with your coaster so that way you have a beautiful set. But however you guys make this up, whether it be for a set or on its own, I know you guys got this. So let's go ahead and get this coaster made up. Let's go. All right, we're starting off with our coaster mold here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take some painter's tape and kind of clean up any little hairs or debris that might be inside of my coaster. I don't like to wash them just because of moisture issues. I don't want to get moisture into my epoxy by accident, but if you do need to wash your coaster for whatever reason, just make sure it is completely dry before you go to make up your coasters. I have two ounces of epoxy that I already have all mixed up. We're just using regular set epoxy for this today. I have three little medicine cups that I'm gonna divvy up about 10 milliliters into each one of these little cups. And then after I get that all divvied up, we're gonna start putting our additives into our epoxy. So into my bigger cup with the clear epoxy, I'm gonna go ahead and add, you just wanna add your favorite white mica powder. This is really gonna give us that milk bath look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my white mica powder into that and give that a nice stir. Now after I've stirred that up a little bit, I'm just gonna kinda of test and see how much of that mica powder I put in there, make sure it's the right look for me and that's exactly what I want. I want it to be kind of opaque. So I don't want it too translucent, a little bit more opaque than usual. Now into one of my little cups here, I'm gonna add some white alcohol ink. And I believe I added about five drops of that white alcohol ink right into that epoxy. Now after I drop that in, again, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice stir as well. And then into my next little container, I'm going to be adding this Pearl Mixative by Tim Holtz. Again, I just did about five drops into that. I'm going to go ahead and give it a really good stir. Now, I know it doesn't really look like much right here in my cup, but it really does give so much visual texture after everything's all cured on our coaster. And that last little cup that I have there with the 10 ml of epoxy, I'm just going to leave that clear. And of course I have my pressed dried flowers. Now if you guys remember that tumbler that I made to match this coaster, I'll go ahead and tag that in the description so that you guys can watch that if you would like to. But I have a bunch of these flowers left over just for something like this or to make up more tumblers if I would like to. Now I'm gonna start off with my clear epoxy first. The clear epoxy is basically where your flowers are gonna be laid into. So I'm just gonna visualize where I would like my flowers to be and I kind of want them more in a kind of swirl pattern. So I'm just gonna take my clear epoxy and just kind of start with that, that clear swirl. Now we are not fully filling up this coaster today. We're just doing a very thin layer of epoxy. That's why we did such such small increments of our epoxy. Now I don't use all that clear epoxy when I lay it down because I'm gonna come back through and kinda lay th layer that down as we go. So as you get going, you, you just wanna leave a little bit left over in your cup so that way again, we can come through and layer everything as we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my mica mixture epoxy. I'm gonna put that onto the outside of my coaster. And if you notice, I'm leaving a gap in between the clear and that mica mixture because we're gonna come back through and we're going to layer on that pearl mixture next. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our pearl mixture and do the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of that gap there on either side of the clear epoxy. And I didn't forget about my white alcohol ink. We're still gonna come through and use that as well. I'm just gonna kind of fill everything in here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my white alcohol ink. And this is where we start to get a little creative because we're just gonna take our popsicle stick and we're just gonna be doing these lines of that white uh, alcohol ink just kind of swirled into the clear and into the pearl mixture and also all the way over into the white. So this is gonna give our piece just a lot of texture using lots of different kind of pigments. 
but you could add as much of this kind of swirly look into it as you would like or as little of the swirly look as you would like because there is no right or wrong when it comes to making art. Now here I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my clear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heat gun and I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of blowing everything around. Now I'm gonna focus mainly where my clear epoxy is so that way I don't get too much of my mica mixture and everything up into the center. And we just wanna really make sure that we come through and kind of pop any little micro bubbles that might be in there. And the blowing around of our heat gun uh, with that alcohol ink mixture that we put in there is gonna give it almost kind of a bubbly look as well. So it's quite nice, it'll add to, add to everything that we're doing here. Now we're gonna go ahead and start laying our flowers down. Now, just like when I made my tumbler to match this, you really don't need too many flowers. Uh, to do this so I just chose a couple bigger flowers to place into my mold and as I'm putting my flowers down into my mold I'm trying to make sure that I put them down very gently so that way no air bubbles get trapped on the opposite side of my flowers and as you see right there if there are any stems that I just feel like are just going to be a nuisance I go ahead and remove those as well but as you can see here I, I pretty much have just enough epoxy to kind of lay everything down in there but I added about four bigger flowers into this and then after I get my bigger flowers laid down then I'm going to come through and kind of layer in some petals from one of these flowers as well so I'm just going to take some petals from this little rose here and I'm just going to kind of layer that or weave that in and out of in between my flowers. But this is a great opportunity if you like to dry your own flowers to be able to use your own flowers to make these coasters or use it from a special occasion like a wedding, Mother's Day, you know, anything where you got some flowers and you just really want to inlay them into some epoxy to kind of have forever. Now after my flowers are all laid down, I'm going to come through one more time and just kind of layer just a little bit more of each one of our mixtures onto the back of our flowers. Then I'm going to take my stick and really poke them down into the epoxy, making sure that they're as coated as can be. There is going to be some flowers kind of not all the way into the epoxy and that is completely fine. So now after you're all done, you're gonna go ahead and take your heat gun and just kind of blow that around one last time. Then you're gonna stick that in a nice level area to dry completely and then we'll come back the next day for the next step. All right, it is the next morning and here it is. I really love how this is turning out. I love how each one is always a little bit different and unique. So these, these are definitely a lot of fun to make. Again, we're gonna use our regular set of epoxy and I have about four ounces of epoxy mixed up into my cup here. And I'm gonna divvy off a little bit into two little medicine cups here. But just like the first round, just 10 mLs into each little container. And again, we are gonna take our white alcohol ink and we're gonna put some into one little container and mix that up really good. And then we are going to put our pearl essence ink into the other little container and mix that up really good as well. Now we're gonna take the rest of our clear epoxy and we're gonna go ahead and fill up our mold. Now I don't wanna fill this completely up to the top because we're gonna be adding some petals into this and I like to do one more finishing coat over top to make sure all those little petals that might be sticking up are completely covered and I like to sign my coaster as well. So not fully to the top, just almost to the top. And before we add in our other little mixtures there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it up really good with my heat gun, making sure that all those little micro bubbles are completely gone out of the epoxy. Now is the fun part. You're just gonna take each one of your mixtures and you're just gonna drizzle that over the top of your clear epoxy here. But this is completely abstract, no rhyme or reason, just kind of drizzling it around until I feel like it has enough of that particular color. Now, when I go to move on to this one, I'm going to drizzle it just a little bit and then I decided to come through with my stick and kind of swirl just very gently. You don't wanna completely swirl it in, but I'm just making sure that all this colorant is getting all the way up to the edge of the coaster there. So I'm just making sure that everything is gonna have that swirled look without kind of coming into the center, which it can do as, as your epoxy dries, everything kind of likes to settle into the center. So I'm just really making sure that it just really has that nice swirl look. So don't be afraid to get your stick in there and kind of swirl it around. 
Now, after I have it swirled around the way I would like, I'm gonna go ahead and come through with some more of my petals. That's the only thing I'm adding into this layer. I just wanted some of those petals kind of peeking through. It, it gives it such a really cool 3D effect where you kind of look at your coaster and you can see those petals all the way down to the bottom. So just again, fill up your petals as much as you would like. And as I get going, I'm just gonna make sure that I come through and I kind of press them down into the epoxy as well. So that way they aren't just floating on the top. You wanna make sure you press them down, make sure that all those little air bubbles have enough time to kind of rise to the top. If you accidentally put it down too quick, you'll see little air bubbles sitting on the petals itself. And after you get all your little petals pushed down and everything swirled the way that you would like it, you're just gonna take your heat gun one last time to really make sure that epoxy has no micro bubbles in it. And I'm also using this to make sure that I kind of break up those swirls so they don't look so man-made, but rather more natural. It gives it more of a feathered look rather than, you know, coming in there and, and doing it yourself. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick that off to the side. I'm going to let that cure completely and they'll be back to finish this up. All right, it is nice and cured. Now all I'm gonna do is sign it with my just acrylic marker. I'm using a Posca acrylic marker. And I do like to kind of give this a spritz with my clear spray seal before I add my epoxy over top just to make sure it's not gonna fade away on me. So after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add one last finishing coat of just basic clear epoxy right over top of everything. And I like to fill that up until it's it's a little bit above the coaster mold. So you gotta be really careful when you go to kind of put this wherever you need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down. I like to hit it up a little bit with my heat gun just to kind of get it moving. And then I like to take it and kind of roll it around so that way I know it's gonna reach edge to edge for me. And if I need to, I'll take a popsicle stick and really make sure that it's, it's touching those edges very well so that way it doesn't make any little indents or, or it almost looks like puckers. Um, and the epoxy, so you just really want to make sure it's touching that silicone edge to edge. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side and let that cure. And then after it's cured is the fun part where you get to unmold it and see how you did. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.